You cannot keep people or hire people based on the employee that you know they can be. Hey, what's up guys? Um, I want to give you a quick video on um, the worst employee I've ever had here uh, at my company. Um, I'm sure there's uh, many of you out there that can relate with a uh, similar story, so I would love to hear them uh, down in the comment section. I think it'd just be kind of a uh, funny video. So uh, without further ado, let me uh, bring you up to speed uh, on this guy. Um, hold up real quick. I am living in a fifth wheel. Um, I don't know if I told you guys about that or not, um, but I sold my house several months ago and uh, me and my family um, are currently in the process of starting construction um, on a home on like four and a half acres in the country and we are about as thrilled about that as we can be. Um, so I'll give you guys a tour on our current living situation uh, soon enough. Um, but I, I, I did want to go ahead and address that because everybody's been like, why is the uh, background uh, been different? You know, are, are, have you changed locations? No, we're still servicing the same areas. I'm just living in a, uh, in a fifth wheel right now. So anyways, um, my worst employee I've ever had. Okay, so this person, I, and I think guys, I think it was because I really felt like I was gonna kind of like take this person under my wing and 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 make them um, make them uh, just super ultra successful. Like that was my goal, you know. And I remember, I remember bringing them onto my truck the first day, and and talking to them, you know, about what this industry can can give you. Like, I just know what it's done for me and my family. Um, if you just have a common sense approach to, to starting a lawn care business <laughs> and, and, you know, I was just, I basically had this guy in my truck and, you know, I just kind of like just pour my heart out, you know, of like, man, you know, I, I really, I think that you can, you know, really do it. I think you can really, you know, create a, create a business for yourself. You know, I don't want you working uh, for me, you know, forever. Um, you know, I want you to just, you know, do a great job for me while you're here, but I want to teach you, you know, I want you to learn, you know, how to do this. And, uh, I now feel, figure there's, there's nobody better to learn from than, than me, <laughs> you know, it's just, it's just the way I feel about it, you know? So if you're going to do this, I feel like this person was in a really, really, uh, good position, uh, to, to learn, um, to learn from me. And, um, you know, I, I've helped people start lawn care businesses, my, my friends and stuff. And it was just another person that I was going to, to help, you know? And, uh, the, I like I said, I got them like basically just telling them like you know how much money we made, how I can control my time, and uh, how it can really just change your life, you know. And I remember him just like looking at me and being like, he didn't care, like like not in the least bit. I mean, there was like no motivation right there. He he just wanted to show up and cut grass, like he wanted to get an hourly check, like an hourly wage. And he had no ambition to do anything other than that. Like, and that was a red flag to me um, right away. Um, and I tried to coax that out of him a little bit more, you know, by just, by just, you know, trying to show him, you know, what this industry can can provide. But um, he just, even in those first week or two, like he just didn't get it, man. He just, he was not interested in learning at all. He just wanted to cut grass, get a check, and uh, and keep the status quo. That being said, uh, he was great at doing that. Like, he was really good. Like, he was fast with the uh, weed eater. He was, uh, he was, uh, he showed up to work. I mean, he, um, he, did, he did a great job. I mean, he had a lot of experience in doing this. Very, you know, very respectful person. Uh, and, and in my mind, like, this was just, this was just like the ideal employee. You know, I was like, all right, well, I was going to try to teach him how to launch out on his own and do his own thing. He's not interested in that. You know, I'll make him a lifer here. You know, I'll pay him really well. And, you know, he can kind of grow with my company if that's his thing, if that's what he wants to do. Well, fast forward about six months and the wheels just absolutely fall off. If, if there was, it doesn't matter what the excuse was. If you can think of it, he came up with it to stop trying to come into work. Um, I would get a text message, you know, we're supposed to meet up by 7.30 at the storage units and head out. I would literally, I'd be holding my breath every day just knowing that I was going to get a text message from him, you know, saying that 
uh, his dog died, his cousin Virginia died, um, his girlfriend had COVID uh, for, the, for the 16th time, um, somebody's distant relative, you know, um, got in a motorcycle accident, um, uh, a neighbor sneezed on him, uh, so, so he didn't want to take a chance of coming in and giving COVID to everybody else. Doctor's appointments, dentist appointments, um, <clears throat> hurt legs, I mean, you, I mean, I'm telling you, man, uh, diarrhea, I mean, just every excuse, and I document, you know, so whenever people call in, and I told them, you know, like, it's like, look, man, I was like, you've been a great, a great employee, but like, you literally, like, you have called in almost like 12 times, you know, over the last couple months, like, what is going on? And it was just a sob story, you know, the, just the usual sob story, I got this and that going on, and um, I promise, you know, I'll get things squared away. And because of his history, you know, he had actually been a good employee up to that point. Like, it just got the better of me, you know. So, like, while I would have, like, let anybody else go in that situation, like, he had sh shown that he could be a great employee. And that's kind of the point of this video, guys, is that, you know, if things if things change, they change, you know. and And you can't base somebody's future off off what they did in the past um because man it didn't matter what it he would be good for like a week and then it'd be the same thing over and over again and i drugged that process on way 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 too long um on on, on letting him go um and again because in the back of my mind i knew the type of employee he could be and that's very very dangerous and that is the point of this video you cannot keep people or hire people based on the employee that you know they can be. And that's important enough uh, that I'm gonna say it again. Uh, you cannot uh, hire people or keep people based on the employee that you know that they can be. They have to prove it to you day in, day out, okay? And if things change, they change, okay? Um, it's it's really as simple as that, guys. So long story short, um, this guy, um, he just couldn't keep it together, man. He just, it, it just got too hard for him. The work was too hard, and he came up with every excuse. And he, at the bottom of the line, he just was not motivated. So now, whenever I hire people, if they're in my truck with me in that first day or two, that's how we do it. Um, they actually work with me their first few days, and I like to just kind of shadow them and work with them and just make sure they're going to be a good fit. Um, I will know almost immediately, and I really, like, I want to know that you're motivated to do something besides cutting grass for me for an hourly wage for the rest of your life. Um, because in my experience, those types of employees end up being uh, very unmotivated. I'm not going to say lazy, um, but I will say that unless you have motivation and drive, it's just too easy um, for you to to just quit, you know, or to just, just be a total, um, just, just horrible employee. Okay. So, um, I've, I looked at my W2s this year, guys, like the, all the W2s that I sent out to my employees and I ended up having to fire like almost nine people this year. Um, but, but, the, but this, but this guy right here, he was the one that stood out the most simply because he just, I could not get over like the fact that I was going to, to pour, energy and education and myself into this person and he was just totally unmotivated and i think that was the one this year um, that stuck out the most let me know in the comments who is your worst employee